Hi guys, this is Vivek and Puneet and we will be going through musical data analysis. Uh, we gathered data for about 20 years from 1995 to 2017 on Spotify API. And there are a few questions that we would like to answer. Uh, first was, how has the trend of tracks per album changed in recent years? We found that it was from seven, uh, seven tracks per album, it has come down to about two tracks per album in recent years. Uh, we find this is the popularity versus uh, the time. We find the most recent tracks are most popular. And in terms of uh, features of song, uh, the tempo, loudness, uh, speechiness have increased in recent years, whereas the liveliness, valence, and duration of songs have decreased. This is a relation. This is a plot, scatter plot showing the relation between artist popularity, album popularity, and the popularity of a song. Do explicit songs do better? Uh, we found that they are doing the same in terms of popularity. As the genre of the songs are not provided, uh, we used artist genre, and the most uh, we found was pop. The number of albums. This is the popularity of the albums. Uh, with pop doing the best. We use regression analysis to find if there is a uh, if we can find any good R square between the features of a song in terms of popularity. We didn't find a good R square. We found it about 0 0.07. The best variables were artist popularity and album release date. This is a regression plot between popularity, album popularity, and artist popularity. We use linear regression and random forest regression, but the highest R square test R square we found was about 0.54. So we converted into a classification problem and created a new variable is popular, where if the popularity of the song is above one, is above 60, then the value is one, otherwise zero. We use naive blaze classifier, which, which we gave us about uh, accuracy of 90%, and a random forest classifier, uh, which gave uh, accuracy of about 94 percent because the genres of the songs were not provided we use we thought of using clustering uh, on the features of the song um, the elbow method showed us like the best number of clusters to be three we were expecting it about to be seven but that's the best we found um, we used two variables so that we could plot this cluster and we use principal component analysis and this is how the cluster looks like of the song. Thank you.